welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs for General Disturbance. This is a gorilla, the tier 5 German SPG. It's on the south spawn of El Haluf. And this one's under the command of Talon 1958. And there's two marks of excellence on his barrel. It says, We shall never surrender. The skin that came from Sir Rusty. And we mean it. Yeah, we don't. We don't suicide, we don't dive into the water to die. No, we fight until the end and we'll keep going down fighting or winning if we can. And of course, in the last battle you saw with Talon, he won the game in his RT at the last second by killing a Nudez 3 that had just managed to find him and put two rounds into him. Well, he's got his firing position now and his 15 centimeter gun is being raised to shoot at the enemy. Now the Griller, it's based on the hull of the Hetzer, and uh, they weren't produced until about m midway through the war. But it's actually quite an effective little arty because 15 centimeter gun means it can actually do 540 alpha, penetrating 38 millimeters of armor, and it's got a 7 meter burst radius, and it has stun. Okay, one of the enemy tanks has managed to make it past that gap without being spotted. A Panzer 3-4. There's another enemy tank in the valley, just got killed. That was a T1 Heavy, just wiped out by our Type T-34. And that uh, Panzer 3 4s pulled back into cover, and now we can't see him. But hopefully we will see some of the enemy soon. Ah, right, there's an enemy. Very difficult shot shooting between that gap, and... It's only possible for certain arties with a high trajectory, and the Griller happens to be one of those. But for the moment, I think he's just going to hold back and not shoot at the IKV. Wait until he comes into view, he fires around in... No, it hits the walls. Now, that's a much better target to fire at. It's got three tanks to have a go at now. KV-1S, Panzer IV H who suffered some damage already, and the Panzer 3-4, who's decided to mix it. He fires one round in straight off, and stuns the KV-1S. Now, the reload time for this RT is 18.99 seconds. He's using premium consumables, which does definitely speed up the reload, and increases the aim time, or decreases the aim time. He fired another one in to try and stun those guys, but he's now got a better target to shoot at, an OI Experimental, which is really just a big piñata to keep whacking until you eventually extract all the goodies from in the inside. Rounds out. Nice hit right on the front. You can see he's actually been hit twice. Somebody else has hit him on one of the boobies, and Talon's round actually hit the bar at the back, and oh, he went down. Killed by an M4A1. I think that was the guy who actually hit the boobies because he was probably using the derp gun. One round out on T67. And oh, that was a one shot kill. It must have landed right on the back of the T67 because it managed to arc over the top of the OI experimental, but it was a certain one shot. The thin armor on the T67 is not like to stand the shot from a good gorilla. He's looking around for a target. In fact, there's a couple of enemy tanks coming up behind us. A Panzer Mark IV H and an M4 Improved. And they just took out one of our defenders in a Type T-34. And, oh, Talon just took out the Panzer IV. And he's now marked the ground for the M4 Improved. He was seen going back further down that road. But I reckon he'll probably come back up. The other RT on our team's a gorilla, and he's a little closer to the captain, Talon. So he'll probably spot the enemy before Talon does. But there's a couple of tanks there who might also get eyes on that M4 improved. They are firing in that direction, so I presume that they're being fired on by the M4. Talon fired one quick round and has changed direction again, and he's gone up to the north. Now, the reason for that, obviously, is there's only a T-67 and an M4A1 holding back the enemy from coming around the northwest corner. 
And there's one of the enemy right now, the Panzer IV Mark VIII, uh, Panzer III IV rather. He's dialing in on that position and he's ready to shoot. Changes his aim. KV-1S looked as if he was going to come around that corner. It's difficult for him to decide which way they're going to come around. Okay, they are coming around this side because there's the KV-1S and there's the Panzer 4H. Rounds out. Well, it's not Panzer 4H, sorry. He got 46 from Splash and the KV-1S is pushing the wreck of that Panzer 4H out in front of him. Not that it would actually act as cover for him because he's shooting at a 90 degrees. The Panzer 3 4 is trying to go around the rock. Our T 67 is not in a position to actually attack him as he does. So this M4A1 is about to get shot in the rear and Talon needs to adjust his aim accordingly. Ignore the KV 1S. The Panzer 3 4 is coming up behind the M4A1. In fact, the Panzer 3 4 is going after the T 67. There he is. And he gets killed by the other gorilla. KV 1S is now ignoring that position. We lost that we we definitely lost the M4A1. He was taken out by the KV 1S whilst we were trying to deal with that uh, Panzer 3 4. So Talon's gonna have to move now because he is the next in line be behind um, next in line to receive or be see the KV 1S or the enemy T67. He's trying to keep the buildings between him and the enemy so he doesn't get seen. There's only five left on his team. There's seven on the enemy team. That M4 Improved is still there trying to get near us. And looks like, oh, what's going on here? He's been seen. And here's the M4 Improved. He's loaded. Fires one into the rear of the M4 Improved for 226. He's trying to use the the shield of the camp, and that's another good reason why you get rid of those um, those camps at the start of the bat battle. It's normally that they can actually shield the enemy, but in this case, they're shielding Talon, and he's gone into the bushes, which actually has decent cover, but he was seen by the M4 improved via snapshot, but doesn't get anything. He won't stay here because the enemy RT is focusing on this area now. He has been spotted. He's going to go down fighting. Either ram the enemy or shotgun them at close range. He's almost loaded. He is loaded. Now who's who's first? Who wants to go? He'll take down one of them if he can. Or take some hit points off them. Puts one into the KV-1S but dies by the next shot. Well, that's a true Walt RT News player. He, he actually went down fighting. Wouldn't give up. Right to the end. There's the T-67. Impossible task for him to, and he gets killed by the enemy gorilla. So let's have a look at the end of battle results. Sadly, it is a loss, and it's a second class tanker for Talon 1958 in the gorilla. But he did get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, he got eight, and he got the high caliber because he dealt the most damage in that battle overall. His win eight was 3,352. And we can see by the team scores, 1,321 hit points of damage. He wasn't the only player who managed to get over 1,000 hit points. The KV-1S, who killed him in the end, did. And so did the Gorilla on the enemy team. KV-1S managed a Pascucci's medal because he killed both of the RT, both the Gorillas, at the end. And when it came to kills... It was, yes, the Panzer 3 4 who got the highest amount with four kills. The KV 1S got three, and then two kills for T 67, the enemy gorilla, and four Talon and the Type T 34. When it came to base XP, it was the KV 1S with 779, the Panzer 3 4 with 690, the T 67 with 656, and Talon managed to get 387. Not so great, but then he was on the losing team. Let's have a look at the detail report. 13 shots fired, 5 direct hits, 2 penetration, 9 splash. 
damage of 1,321 hit points, of which 914 were at more than 300 meters. He received one hit. It was a penetration from the KV-1S, and it wiped him out with one shot. Six enemy vehicles damaged, two killed, and 256 hit points of stun assist off nine stuns. On a premium count, he earned 27,239 credits, got 13,234 from Holiday Ops, and 5,040 for getting the Courageous Resistance Award for getting a Battle Hero Medal in a losing or drawn game. So his total, 45,513 credits. And after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 36,526 credits. He got one bomb for getting the high caliber. And 580 XP plus 357 for Courageous Resistance, total 937 all together. But yes, he, he died in a true What Art You News fashion. I'm not going to go down um, with a whimper. I'm going to go down with a bang. I'm going to make sure the enemy pays for taking my uh, soul. If they want to come after me, they've got to expect that they're going to lose something in return. And I, I've got exactly the same attitude. If the enemy is going to hit me and I've got no shell on the breach, I'll ram them to try and extract a few more hit points off them before I die. But I'm not going to go down without a fight uh, because we don't suicide in What Arty Noobs. We fight to the end, literally. And you, usually when we do it, we win as well. <laughs> if we can, we'll win. If we can't, we go down fighting. At least that's the proper way to play the game. And uh, we're not... Um, uh, we don't... Um, uh, we don't give up the game easily because uh, uh, we're, we're not... Uh, what's the word that Jingles uses? Um, I can't think of the actual term right now. <laughs> but we, we, don't, we don't give up. We don't give up in the end. We never surrender. We go down fighting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.